So recently, the, the Phoenix Suns re-signed Chris Paul to a four-year, $120 million deal. Now, what this deal tells me is that Chris Paul is going to finish his career with the Phoenix Suns. I'm get, I, would, I would bet a lot of money on Chris Paul finishing his career in Phoenix. I just see, I, I don't see him really going anywhere else, you know, and I think it was the right move for Chris Paul. Um, the Phoenix Suns are a pretty well-run organization. You have a pretty young, talented team that just made a run to the NBA Finals. Obviously coming up short, but you have a really talented team. You know, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, Mikel Bridges, Cameron Payne, a lot of good players. Cam Johnson. It's a pretty talented roster, okay? And where else was Chris Paul going to go? Was he going to go to the Lakers? No. You want to know why? Because they just recently signed Russell Westbrook. They can't afford Chris Paul. Was Chris Paul going to go to the Chicago Bulls? Why would Chris Paul at this point in his career want to go to a rebuilding Chicago Bulls team? Okay, their ceiling is a first-round playoff exit probably. Okay, at this point, Chris Paul wants to compete for a championship. And I think that staying with the Phoenix Suns gives him a decent shot to potentially win a championship before his career is over. Now, again, am I going to bet on the Phoenix Suns winning a championship? With Chris Paul, as I speak today right now, probably not, but we'll see what happens, you know, down the road. Maybe they make another move for another superstar player. I will say, if you're the Phoenix Suns, this is a deal that you want to make happen just because Chris Paul, he brings tremendous leadership to that locker room. And while the Phoenix Suns were a very talented roster, they really needed a guy like Chris Paul to bring in leadership and to be the point guard that puts it all together. And he's going to hold those guys accountable. You know, he's not going to allow those guys to have success go through uh, the backside of their head. You know, he's going to hold those guys accountable. And Chris Paul is 36 years old. He'll be 40 years old by the end of the deal. I understand that the Phoenix Suns kind of overpaid for Chris Paul. But if you want to win a championship, sometimes you got to overpay for players. And in the next two to three or four seasons, if the Phoenix Suns win a championship and Chris Paul is a big part of that, the deal was worth it, okay? So this is a movie that you just pretty much have to make and you live with the results. We'll see what Chris Paul does for potentially the rest of his career with the Phoenix Suns. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.